So this presentation is on blue tongue virus in sheep and cattle. So the glossary of what we're going to be talking about today, um, introduction, causes, treatment, prevention, and conclusion. Introduction. Blue tongue virus is a vector-borne viral disease that primarily affects ruminants, including sheep and cattle. Classified within the genus Orbivirus, BTV is known for its distinctive clinical sign of kinosis or blueness around the mouth, nose and hooves in affected animals. The disease can result in significant economic loss due to decreased milk production, weight loss and in severe cases, high mortality rates. Causes Vector transmission BTV is primarily transmitted through the bites of infected culeocytes midgets, which act as biological vectors. The virus undergoes replication within the midget's body, and when the insect feeds on a susceptible host, it transmits the virus through its saliva. Serotype diversity. BTV is classified into multiple serotypes, each representing a distinct variant of the virus. Different serotypes may exhibit variations in virulence, geographic distribution, and host susceptibility. The presence of multiple serotypes complicates vaccine development and immune dynamics. Host susceptibility. Various factors influence the susceptibility of livestock to BTV, including age, breed, and overall health status. Young animals and certain breeds may be more vulnerable to severe clinical signs. The immune response of BTV infection can vary, impacting the duration and strength of immunity. Climate and environmental factors. Midgets, the primary vectors of BTV, are influenced by environmental conditions. Climate factors such as temperature, humidity and rainfall affect the abundance and di distribution of this species influencing the transmission dynamics of BTV. Changes in climate patterns can impact the geographical range and seasonal activity of these vectors. Global movement of livestock. International trade and movement of livestock contribute to the spread of BTV. Infected animals or carrier states may introduce the virus to new regions. Import regulations and quarantine measures play a crucial role in preventing the, the transmission of BTV. Treatment of blue tongue virus in sheep and cattle. Currently, there is no specific antiviral treatment for animals infected with blue tongue virus. BTV is a viral disease and treatment primarily focuses on supportive care and managing clinical symptoms. Supportive care for infected animals. Veterinary intervention is crucial to provide support, supportive care for the affected animals. Supportive care measures may include fluid therapy to address dehydration, nutritional support, and medication to alleviate fever and pain. Monitoring and isolation. Close monitoring of infected animals is essential to track the progression of the disease and to intervene promptly if complications arise. Isolation of infected animals helps prevent the spread of the virus to susceptible individuals within the herd or flock. Prevention of secondary infections. Since BTV weakens the immune system of infected animals, they become more susceptible to secondary bacterial infections. Veterinarians may prescribe antibiotics to prevent or treat secondary bacterial infections and support the overall health of infected animals. Vaccination strategies. Vaccination is a critical component component of preventing blue tongue virus infections. Vaccines are designed to stimulate an immune response that provides protection against specific BTV serotypes prevalent in a region. Timely and routine vaccination is essential for building immunity within livestock populations. Economic considerations. Economic decisions regarding the treatment of BTV often involve balancing the cost of supportive care vaccination programs and the potential losses in productivity. Long-term strategies may focus on implementing effective vaccination protocols and biosecurity measures to reduce the overall impact of livestock health and industry economics. 
It's important to note that while supportive care can alleviate symptoms preventing the disease through vaccination and implementing biosecurity Preventing the disease through vaccination and implementing biosecurity measures remains a key priority in managing blue tongue virus in sheep and cattle. Prevention strategies for blue tongue virus. Vaccination strategies. Vaccination stands as the cornerstone of preventing blue tongue virus infections in livestock. The importance of using vaccines designed to to target specific BTV serotypes prevalent in the region are essential. Implementing routine and timely vaccination schedules is essential to establish and maintain immunity within the herd or flock. Vector control and environmental management. Mitigating the risk of BTV transmission involves implementing effective vector control measures. Environmental management practices such as reducing standing water and managing vegetation can impact the breeding and activity of the midgets. Insecticide application in areas with high vector prevalence contributes to reducing the likelihood of transmission. Biosecurity protocols. Implementing robust biosecurity protocols is crucial to prevent the introduction and spread of BTV within livestock populations. This includes quarantine measures for introducing new animals, restricting movement during peak vector activity and maintaining hygiene practices to reduce the risk of transmission. Education and communication. The significance of educating livestock owners, veterinarians and other stakeholders about BTV prevention strategies is very important. Effective communication campaigns can increase awareness about vaccination benefits, biosecurity practices, and the role of individuals in preventing the disease spread. Research for improved prevention. The need for ongoing research to enhance BTV prevention methods is very important. Research efforts should focus on developing more efficacious vaccines, understanding vector biology, and identity novel strategies for integrating disease management. Adaptability and continuous assessment. The, the importance of adaptability in prevention strategies considering the dynamic nature of BTV cannot be stressed enough. Continual assessment of vaccination programs, vector control measures and biosecurity protocols allows for adjustment, adjustments based on changes in BTV epidemiology. Conclusion, ongoing ch challenges and global impact. The conclusion undergo underscores the ongoing challenges posed by blue tongue virus, including the dynamic nature of the virus, the emergence of new serotypes, and the evolving patterns of its vectors. The global impact of BTV livestock populations and the economic ramifications for affected re regions very big. The importance of preventative measures, particularly vaccination and management in managing and mitigating the impact of BTV is very, very important. Timely and routine vaccination to build immunity within livestock populations and reduce the incidence and severity of the, of the disease is, is also very important. There's a strong need for collaborative efforts among farmers, veterinarians, researchers, and policymakers to implement effective control strategies. Collaboration on local, national, and international level is crucial for addressing the complex challenges associated with blue tongue virus. Economic considerations and long-term strategies. Economic considerations involving the treatment and prevention of BTV are very important and the, and the highlight the importance of long-term strategies. There should be a proactive approach focusing on cost-effective vaccination programs, biosecurity measures and sustainable practices to safeguard the livestock industry. The importance of continued research and surveillance to stay ahead of BTV's evolving nature cannot be emphasized enough. Research Research efforts should focus on developing more effective vaccines, understanding vector dynamics, and improving diagnostic tools for early detection. The livestock 
industry is very resilient in face in facing challenges posed by blue tongue virus despite the complexity of the disease a combination of knowledge proactive measures and adaptability can contribute to the resilience and sustainability of livestock production system thanks for listening